are here at Rosella at the Rand, and here to tell you how to march to the beat of your own fashion drum is Leighton W. with Leighton W. Couture. <laughs> this Thank you. is, I love that. you know, kind of a new trend, right? Well, I mean, uh, so the military trend has been around for a long time, and what we've seen with all the fast fashion retailers and even the big luxury uh, designers is a really heavy military influence. Now, while the full head-to-toe military thing hasn't really held in all that strong, military-inspired pieces are not going anywhere. They're going to stick around for a long time. It's one of the staples in the world's fashion industry. So we're going to be showing some pieces that are fully inspired by the military and how we can just throw them in with our everyday wear. So the first way we're showing the military trend right now as far as individual pieces go is on Elise. So this sweater actually came from one of our local army surplus stores because what better way to do a military look than to actually buy the actual thing. And I want people to know you do not have to go out there and spend $600 on a military inspired sweater when you can get it right here in town at our vintage stores, our thrift stores and our army surplus stores for about 29 bucks. We've thrown it over a quite expensive dress, but we're just getting the look, right? So so take your cool dress, take your cool jean, take your cool shorts, whatever it is, grab a cool military sweater, throw it over the top. And what we've done to give a little bit more of a nod to that military feel is we've taken a few little shirt pins and a couple of earrings and a little brooch and stuck it on there to kind of mimic the idea of those great military medals that we get to see all the time. And on the beautiful Krista Modales here, we've taken the military inspiration in a different direction. Not that you can go wrong on Krista, let's get real here. We've done it with the jacket this time. So we've taken this kind of cool, slightly tomboy outfit. We've got a vintage tee on, we've got the cool leopard print jogger on, and then we topped it with this really cool military inspired jacket. Now this isn't an actual military piece, but what they've done is they've taken the ideal military cargo jacket and slimmed it down, tapered the sleeves, added a bunch of more modern, uh, functional pockets and created this cool kind of military vibe that you can do with anything. This is another thing. You could literally do this with a t-shirt. You can do this with a suiting shirt. You can do this with shorts, jeans, skirt, whatever it is that you want to do just to give it that little extra military punch. Now we can't do the military look without throwing a guy into the mix, obviously. And one of the ways that we see this trend done all the time is in men's coats and in men's shirts. This one in particular was actually another thrift store find. I found it for 10 bucks at Texas Thrift Center. And on Joel, what we've done is we just threw it over a cool comfy sweater, a cool cozy scarf, his own personal blue jeans that he came in today in, <laughs> and then instead of going the $1,500 route for the Prada boot, which I own myself, I know how expensive they are, I happened to be in the Army Surplus store again yesterday when I was working on this piece, and I found the actual jungle boot that literally looks just like the Prada boot, but it's $39 instead of $1,500. So in continuing with the military theme, this time what we're doing is we're actually visiting those military looks from around the world. But this is actually a French naval jacket. They're originally made by Christian Lacroix, and I figured, you know what, if we're going to be doing this and we're going to make a statement out of it, let's do it with the French military jacket but we took some brooches and some earrings and we just pinned them on there to kind of amp up the military idea to mimic those medals and we threw it on with this cool super cute mod puffy skirt to kind of get that whole sex in the city vibe thing going we paired it with the jersey which by the way the designer of this jersey is marcus orlando he's a texas-based designer out of corpus christi all right great ideas from leighton w of leighton w couture tell folks how to find you you can always find me at leightonw.com and at the leighton w on instagram all right and of course we want to thank rosella at the ranch for having us out. It's a great place to come have some coffee, even some drinks. And for more information on Leighton W. Couture, just head to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab.